Hello, I'm Brian Shannon with Autodesk, and in this video tutorial we are going to be taking a look at how to categorize Inventor's Content Center files within the Autodesk Vault family of products. First, let's review the benefits of categories. So categories are something that we can assign to a particular file that we check into Vault, and this is going to extend the intelligence and extend the functionality and define the behavior of that file. This helps us to uh, classify files further than just their file extension and dictate the revision scheme, the lifecycle state, and any user-defined properties that we care to enforce on these files. Now for content center files, these are files that are standardized components that come out of either the SQL tables or there's a desktop content option within Inventor. These files are uh, the standard hardware, and if you're using this particular hardware with Vault, you may have noticed that when you go to release the top-level assembly that there's a rule that checks that all of the dependent children are released. And in this video, we're going to be covering how we can automatically um, categorize content center components and ensure that those files go to a unique category which enforces a particular life cycle definition that defaults to the release state. So we can ensure that these files are released as soon as they're checked inside a vault.